Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs and other farm animals, this is Arrhenia and welcome to episode 17 of Kerbal Space Chronicles. Now, we are here with Project Chicago on the moon. First thing you'll probably notice is that the moon looks a lot different. The second thing you'll probably notice is that we're not lagging. Yeah, that was actually fixed. So there was a bug in Copernicus that was causing problems with the moon at close ranges and everybody except Kerbin would have been affected. It would have been miserable to watch me land anywhere. But we have that fixed now. And I think I might be able to land this thing someplace. I might be chugging over to this crater here. Let me check what biomes I have so far. Where's the next magnetic survey? Definitely not around Ator, and we're not going that far. Maybe, so that one. East. east crater, the northwest crater. I think that might be the east crater. I guess we will find... Oops, that's not the one. M button, not escape. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try going up that way, whichever way that is. Surface up. Lift off. Do I need to be going south? Like 160. I don't want to use too much of my... Of course, every little bit of fuel that I use is fuel that I don't have on the way back down. I'm just going to give us a little bit of a sideways kick here. should get us somewhere at least. And we're going to go surface velocity. Yeah, see how much better this is now? I mean, we're still running at a yellow game clock, but we're not running at two frames a second. Where are we heading is the question. Map's a little slow to load, but... Looks like we're heading for that crater. Let go up. It's just a little flip. Too much fuel. I want to get into that crater, and every time I switch between the map now, it's a little laggy. But... Probably because it's having to render the high quality map. Either way, let's see what we can do. We're just going to time accelerate a little. I think we're going to need a little bit more to clear the lip of that crater. Yeah, there we go. The question is, do we get into a new biome with that little blip? Yeah, we do. We get into the highlands. Awesome. Now we're going to be able to complete our moon probes contract and go out to Phoebe. I do need to get this in the correct orientation, though. Because we're going to be coming in hard and fast. This is going to be so much easier to fly, though. some speed here.
bit more than I had originally intended to bleed off, but it works. Our fuel situation is critical, though. Look, there's one of those rocks. That's probably the ones like Moonstone that we would need to bring back. Gonna engage the engine. Gonna drop to like five meters per second and then just slowly come in. And touch. No, I set off. Thank you. Bump. We bumped the engine a little hard there. But either way, we have done it. We have successfully completed the moon probe strategy from Strategia. And we got some new science while we were at it. You know, I'd call that a pretty good day. We fixed our lag. We completed a strategy. Hey, we're moving up in the world. So I'm going to go ahead and catch you back at the space center, or actually probably on the launch pad, with the next rocket. Stay tuned. Alrighty, we are back at the launch pad with Project Cleveland. This is the next spacecraft in the line here. And we're going to send this to Phoebe. Now, I've started at the launch pad because the launch procedure is a little different. You notice I have the smart ASS configured for a heading of 78 because we're having to launch to an inclined body. Now, we're relatively close right now. So we're actually just going to go ahead and go for the launch. engine which is a stock engine it's been retextured by some bitch but we are on a stock engine so that's always fun oh we have fairings separate well and because my symbol is a six point star I figured we'd make a six point fairing didn't look very good at that particular deployment because of fast we're in time acceleration and how powerful I need that particular ejector box. Uh, 
it. We're just steadily continuing our burn. Accelerating about one and a half G. I do notice that my time to app lapse is dropping, but that drop is slowed to a stop and is actually now reversed. So we're going to drop to the horizon and pick up horizontal speed. Now we're actually burning right toward five B. We're going to end up pretty close on the inclination. That's really good. I mean, for how roughly we launched 2.6 of relative inclinations. I mean, I could have gotten it closer, but that would have required time accelerated all the way around on the map view. and Just fun times all around, so... Crossed over to the point where we're now accelerating into orbit. Just going for the usual 165, well, 182, I guess, is when you flip over like it just did, then it'll, then it will, won't necessarily like you. Now there's a lot of stuff I can do use experiments, so I'm not going to do those. Those. I'm going to save on the off chance that we actually manage to land this vehicle at Phoebe, which is an open question. I'm not sure if we're going to have enough fuel by the time we're out there to actually do that, but that will be the uh, subject matter of episode 18, as we are otherwise going to run over time on this one. Now, because of how I got in orbit, um, I've completely overcooked, and in fact, my burn into my actual orbital insertion burn is clear around the other side of the planet. Almost. Um, and we're gonna slowly turn the rocket around. Fortunately, I stuck an extra reaction wheel in here; otherwise, we'd be turning at the speed of molasses in January. I'm also fortunate that these procedural tanks have cooling because I can use the coolant to actually have upper stage liquid hydrogen, which is always nice. Um, and there we go. We're flipping into the node orientation. Time accelerate around. Of course, we've gone into the dark. Means we've lost power. Ah, Jesus! That's not what I wanted. Yeah, we're gonna end up a little out of a line. Grr. Grr. Grr, 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 grr. Um, that doesn't have my. But it does have. E. Let's minimize E. Point zero zero four. Not my best work, but it will do. I think the last thing we're going to do in this particular episode is trim my orbit. Do eleven? Yeah, that'll pretty much burn out this stage. It's kind of what I. We'll probably just jettison this after that point, even though that'll only leave me on one reaction wheel. I hope we don't lose power on the way to the trim maneuver. We're just going to go through the trim because it's a really short maneuver. Is it all the way around the planet again? I think that's almost a full orbit around. So that's fun. And of course, map view lag. There we go. Yeah, that's almost three quarters of the way around the planet. Well, the good news is... When we get there, the engine will recharge the batteries. So we won't have to be afraid of running out of power. This time I'm not time accelerating like some crazy person and missing my orbit. Or my uh, maneuver. We're just going to go ahead and glide around really quick. There's the moon. Actually, it's going to be none too long after after sunset. 
just a couple minutes after sunset. Or this really short burn out of it. I'm gonna pull the rendezvous to go ahead. Two, one, zero. No four. Oh, two. Point zero zero. Wow, that was almost a perfect execution. But yeah, that does leave us with 10 meters per second of fuel remaining in the uh, second stage. So that is pretty much going to be useless. I mean, we'll get a burp out of it and then we'll have to change stages. Um, either way, let's go ahead and lock in the maneuver planner. Give me the Hulkman transfer. Gives me 2,000. What? That doesn't even get me out there. All the what the? Huh? Are, 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 are you well? That's not even burning in the right direction. Remove all nodes, please. There we that's a bit more reasonable. I was getting concerned. Yeah, okay, so that's gonna be the maneuver that starts off episode 18, though. Um, in the meantime, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the outro. Hey everyone, Arinia here. Thanks so much for watching this latest video out of my channel, and thanks so much to these patrons who, among others, are helping make this content possible by donating at least $10 on my Patreon page. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, leave a comment, tell us what we need to do better. If you liked it, still leave a comment. I'm always open to input. If you like the channel, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and join us on the Discord community, link in the description. If you want to support the channel, and I really hope you do, please, down in the description is a link to the Buy Me A Coffee page, which you can donate to for a one-time donation, or the Patreon page, which you can head on to to donate monthly and get perks. In the meantime, this is Irinia saying once again, thanks for watching, 